Hi Scorpio, welcome to your June 2018 reading and this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. Guys, uh, I uh, am so thankful for all of you who are subscribed to my channel, uh, who have commented on my previous video for the Scorpio. I am so glad that uh, you guys resonated uh, and I feel uh, very blessed to have you on my channel and guys, um, I am not doing a 10 card Celtic cross this time because I was pretty exhausted with all the readings that I did last month. This month it's a very uh, simple spread that I'm doing. It's a three card spread, uh, past, present, future energies, what you should stop doing, what you should start doing and what you should continue doing in the month of June. What is your strength, what is your weakness and what is your advice and what are the blockages that you are going to have in the month of June. So guys, um, I hope you will understand that I won't be able to post a very detailed reading this time. Maybe for the June with uh, sorry for the July video I will uh, again do the detailed reading, which so many of you liked. Uh, so so that I have some energy for myself because I got really drained doing all the videos for the previous month. Yes, so let's uh, get into your uh, reading. You are very very dissatisfied already, Scorpio. Uh, you are not feel, uh, feeling emotionally fulfilled. Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel and if you resonate, kindly uh, do drop me a comment. Uh, I will really uh, appreciate it and I try to reply to each of the comments. Okay, so what is the past, present, future energy for the Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising? Past, present and future energy for the Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising, June 2018. Past, present and future energy for the Scorpios for the month of June 2018. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. What's your past energy is the Daughter of Wands. What is your present energy is Ten of Pentacles. Future energy is Five of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, for some of you there is a three party situation and for some of you there is simply a heartbreak a situation where um, somebody that you were waiting for or is someone or some situation like you are waiting for your returns to come in you had invested in something and you you were waiting for the results it did not turn out to, to be the way that you uh, anticipated and it broke your heart you were you are very very disappointed you i can literally feel that uh, like some of you are having a headache uh, some of you are just feeling a lot of um, pinching in your chest. You are feeling pinching like how someone would pinch you. I'm getting that you wanted a family with this situation like whoever that you were dealing with there was some passion between you two but I get guess that some for some of you there was a money situation that came in between or there was a family that came in between the two of you or uh, there was distance that came in between the two of you i'm also getting that someone here was uh, only uh, like they were not very invested they were uh, they were never a commitment material is what i'm getting and they had a uh, little passion like they were uh, basically they they came in your life and they left that sort of situation so you are, some of you are feeling very very left out in the cold uh, some of you are worried about your financial situation with re regards to a family situation. You feel that uh, you won't be receiving money from your family if you uh, depend on it. Uh, so you need to work on your finances. Uh, what is your past energy is the daughter of wands. So now, okay. Uh, in in past you were very passionate about something Scorpio uh, you uh, wanted to see where things would go you were very very passionate you want you also saw some results uh, you thought that it was endless like uh, this passion is never going to fade out is what you had thought and that is your energy in the past and whatever that passion was uh, it came out of uh, like it was like a silver lining in the dark cloud so it was a hope for you and, and it had infinite possibility in your eyes so in your eyes uh, you used to think that this thing that you had whatever passion that you had it was everything to you and uh, that's how it is uh, coming up I'm also getting some of you are dealing with a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius person 
in present you are very focused on your finances or your money uh, uh, family situation or you are very 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 focused on your healing i'm getting that some of you are working on your root chakra then you are working on your solar plexus and then you are working on your heart chakra and then you are working on your throat chakra then your third eye then your crown uh, this is uh, Uh, something that i'm feeling that you are surrounding yourself with very positive energy or you're creating this energy around you where uh, you are embodying all these um, energies where you want to feel secure and at home uh, because it is taking you uh, some uh, spiritual uh, all this this situation has taken you on a spiritual journey i'm also getting that some of you might leave your home is what i'm feeling here like in your uh, passion and in your uh, in your heartbreak i feel you feel like leaving your home or feel like leaving your family i'm getting that um, you need to um, you need to understand that there are people who need you i'm also getting here that um some of you are manifesting something related to a uh, materialistic life when it comes to your spirituality like you want to bring your spirituality to the earth realm like you want to contribute to earth realm with your spiritual power is what i'm feeling here for some of you now in future i'm getting that uh, five of pentacles uh, so you are uh, leaving somebody out in the cold or someone is leaving you out in the cold so this is continuing this heartbreak is continuing it could be with a water sign uh, someone who um, wears their heart on their sleeve uh, this person can also be a child or you are dealing with your children here some of you are dealing with your children who have broken your heart and i'm getting that uh, somebody is uh, being left behind somebody is being cut off somebody is uh, in future trying to leave a situation which they don't never wanted to leave so they feel it like they feel very cold and alone so be prepared for this energy uh, that's the purpose of this reading so that you know what's coming your way some of you are literally trying to understand how you can improve your finances in future uh be mindful of uh, your um uh poverty consciousness like you know if you are always thinking about you are going to lose something you are going to lose something uh, then it becomes a self self fulfilling prophecy so stop having negative thoughts about something because then you will manifest it because i'm getting that energy here uh like you have everything presently but then you will lose it in future that is what you are feeling and uh, whatever you are feeling whatever a uh, narrative that is going on in your head it can come true if you are not uh, careful about it so be mindful of what you are thinking what should scorpio stop doing what should they start doing okay and what should they continue doing you you are keeping your patience scorpio with something related to money or something that you had planted and you are you are waiting for your fruits and your output definitely here some of you and you are keeping your patience okay overall energy is the four of swords so yes you are uh, definitely keeping your patience you are relaxing in a very difficult position like you are in a very difficult position but you are trying to relax you are trying to uh, uh, go deep within you are trying to ground yourself so much so that you don't want to be bothered and uh, you have come into a very difficult situation in your life where you want to retreat to a place of like you want to be really really isolated i'm feeling you want to sit in your thoughts and soak it all in is what i'm feeling here now uh, scorpio what i'm also feeling here is that what you should stop doing is the knight of swords so the knight of swords on the uh, on this um uh animal i don't know which animal is this this is definitely something that i cannot understand it has a horn so it also has a tail and it looks like a horse like it has a lizard tail and it looks like a horse 
so i'm getting that uh, you are not uh, currently making full uh, use of your resources you are not stable and i'm getting that you are trying to um, you you are you are only using half of your resources you are not using your total power is what i'm getting here and you are very scared about something like you are very scared and even though you feel that you are very ready to face something inside you are feeling like a bit scared i'm also getting here that um, you are speaking a lot like you might be roaring a lot like people say uh, like uh, if you are talking a lot then you are not doing enough or you should prove uh, with your uh, actions and uh, stop talking or something of that sort is coming up so you are uh, you are telling about your uh, big dreams but you are not doing enough is what i'm getting here if this is you or someone around you it can be a fire sign or a air sign libra aquarius gemini leo sagittarius or aries i'm also getting here that um, you can be very blunt with your words very 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 um uh, stingy with your words very harsh with your words and very outrageous and you have lot of rage so you will um, you are very aggressive basically i'm getting here so that is what you have to stop doing so that was your message there what you should stop doing because the way you are reacting right now is other people thinking that you are either a uh, someone to be feared like they they are fearing you and uh, that is not good uh, because they see that you are attacking them in some way so uh, that you should that is what you should stop doing or if you are dealing with somebody like that stop dealing with them because they are a narcissist so uh, i'm seeing some flags here so i'm going to say it guys don't take it personally please you can very well be dealing with someone like that in the past uh, so that's the uh, that is also i'm going i'm seeing that this person is leaving your life like this person is moving out of this uh, entire spread they are moving away from the entire reading and in what you should start doing very beautiful card the world card so that is what why i'm saying that this is the person who is uh, who is probably not you because they are moving away from this uh, situation uh, like they have left the situation but the problem is that you are still looking at them like if they are leaving your life you you are very focused on them like you 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 care a lot about where this person is going what they are going to do next so if this person is so nasty i don't know why you are so focused on them because the world is all about ending ending a cycle so probably you had a cycle with the person probably this is your family member i'm getting lot of uh, uh, ending of lot of um, karmic issues for some of you like i said it's in your uh, family life i'm also getting you are coming uh, face to face with your own self as well uh, i'm also getting that uh, you are working hard for something like you have you are burning uh, the candle on both the sides uh, and uh, you are very intuitive as well right now uh, i'm also getting that you are shedding uh, some skin like scorpios usually have that thing with them that they shed their emotions and then they re uh, generate and like a phoenix they come again from the ashes like that uh, thing i'm getting that and whatever uh, you were uh, invested in that ship is also coming i'm also getting that um someone is teasing you and uh, you are teasing them back or you are being angry because of that so if somebody is teasing you uh, it's better you ignore them and save your energy instead of uh, reacting uh and uh, i'm getting that um by next full moon or this full moon which was in sagittarius by the way by, uh, vedic astrology uh according to that uh, it was in scorpio so scorpio had lot of um endings uh yesterday so or by next full moon which will be in sagittarius or let's say in capricorn you will be um ending something completely like you will be renewed you will be taking new steps forward uh, this is the card look at it again stop looking at this person who is leaving because they are not focused on you they are definitely not focused on you and they are leaving uh, because they they have realized that uh, 
<laughs> like they they show a lot of courage but they are not that courageous they realize their limitation and how much like they realize that uh, they are not that powerful so that's why they are leaving so let them go don't look at them don't 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 wait for them to turn around and come back because you what you should continue doing is keep defending yourself keep defending yourself is your advice so keep pushing this person back like you out of your life both these cards uh, you are looking at them at them and pushing them out of your life because you have so many new things coming in you have planted few things and they are growing they are growing well and you will see results in some time uh, don't lose uh, your patience uh, you might feel that uh, your money situation is not uh, so well but it is going to work out keep um, be passionate about your work what is uh, scorpio's strength weakness and advice so keep standing up for what you believe in uh, what you feel don't uh, ignore your feelings there is some renewal of feelings as well like you have uh, new ideas about feelings on how you feel or how you express your feelings uh, or how you um, deal with them so what is their strength weakness advice uh, another three of uh, sword here just like this overall energy so three of sword and dealing with someone who is a leech basically because um, look at this uh, tree here it's uh, a trunk like a and there is a frog on this um, picture and i'm also getting a uh, lot of creepers on this tree so a lot of uh, leeching or uh, somebody being too dependent on you or taking a lot of energy from you in order to sustain their own self which is again like i said someone not good for you basically they take a lot of energy out of you so what is your strength <laughs> you have the five of swords i think there was a battle or a bitter battle or something happened and you spoke your truth and you killed someone who was a snake or you called somebody out who was a snake you just told them who they were and that's why i guess this person is leaving your life um there has been some truth spoken there has been some uh, exchange of uh, bitter uh, bitter words so five of swords so you did win a ego battle with someone so if there was a ego battle you won it and um, i'm not going to say that be happy about it because this card is not good any which ways because it's five of swords it's a lot of um, conflict uh, so it did take a lot of energy out of you so obviously you did not enjoy the entire process but be assured that if this person has left uh, it's for good and however it the situation was uh, when you were dealing with it it was bitter it was ugly but it's over now now what's your weakness is that um uh, uh page of cups your weakness is that you still want to offer this person love understanding care you want to understand their shadow side you you are wanting to um some of you are even uh, in a situation where you want to celebrate with them something uh, or you i think you are just uh, your weakness is that you want to trap yourself again into a situation which is make which is going to make you feel like you are in a uh, box like living in a box you are uh, playing with fire here is what i am getting here you feel that you know the uh, you know uh, what you are doing but no you don't is what i'm getting here i'm getting here that uh, i think your weakness is also for some of you is your child your children can be your weakness in the situation is that is also what i'm getting here now advice is king of uh, uh, king of i am almost said sword but king of wands so well, with king of swords someone professional someone who is logical someone who is not swayed by emotions someone who is very clear cut 
someone who cuts the bullshit and they get to the bottom of the things and they are sensible about things that energy and also king of wands which is someone taking action not just in their head they are not just in their head they are taking action they are out there doing their stuff you are not sitting there and uh, waiting for the world to change no you are out there making moves you are out there changing stuff i am getting that again some of you are going through some spiritual awakening you have to discover this side of you is what i am getting here you have to be uh, in the limelight for some of you i am getting that you have to be in limelight you have to get uh, get in touch with your higher self more if you are already working on it then you need to get it. like you need to be more open to uh, the blessings and there is a uh, whatever that you had planted i'm getting again it is going to uh, grow well and just have faith in it uh, now what is your blockages blockages for scorpio sun moon rising expansion you are not letting yourself expand you are not sharing your energy in the right direction you are sharing your energy with a with someone who doesn't deserve it and quest uh, is the bottom of the deck by the way so uh, you are on some quest some of you uh, you have to realize it that your journey is much bigger than the person that you are dealing with right now impatience again so impatience came out for libra as well uh, and it's there for you as well so some of you are losing your patience with the situation you feel that uh, um, i especially if it's something related to spirituality wisdom and something of that sort you are losing your patience uh, you are not patient enough i'm getting that uh, some some of you have to work on your throat chakra speak your truth uh, align know your truth don't lie to yourself don't lie to the people around you about how you feel you have to speak what you are feeling don't don't sugar coat it is what i'm getting here work on your uh, throat chakra uh, because i don't think uh, you are aligned recovery and this comes out in reverse so definitely not healing and mysticism like i said something is spiritual mysticism uh, as overall energy you are being blocked by your uh, belief as well uh, or how uh, you think things work out like for some, for example some of you believe in astrology and might have got your um, things in place like you know certain things and uh, mysticism coming up as a blockage is basically you believing in it too much like you don't believe in your own power in your own ability to manifest stuff uh, the way you want it and you uh, have to heal so some of you have to work on your recovery uh, also i'm getting that some of you have lost something in the past or you will lose something in future so be mindful of that uh, that you don't lose out on a very particular information or a very particular tool or very particular aspect of your life you are forgetting about something um because you are in certain sort of mood where uh, you are very focused on one aspect of life and not the other aspects of your life some of you are trying to achieve something uh, very quickly and that's not the right way to go is what i'm getting here i'm also getting you are very divinely blessed you are very divinely guided i'm getting you are very very protected even though you don't feel it but you are uh, because this guy is look at this guy here and then look at this guy here and then look at this guy here he is there on all the cards and i have a uh, different uh, cards in this uh, that guy is not uh, there on all the cards um, i can show you like so all the three cards you have the same um, same guy appearing so that definitely there is one single entity or a spirit guide or something like that who is constantly around you following you he healing you uh telling you wise words you just need to listen to him and i'm also getting that um definitely your uh, third eye is blocked uh like you are not trusting your intuition some of you like you know better but you are not doing it like uh, you know so much but you don't want to act on it definitely some of you are dealing with a three party situation 
so that is coming up and uh, and a heartbreak because you had three of sword twice so that was your reading scorpio i hope it helped and um, do drop me a comment if it did uh, i'll wait for your comments and uh, i'll definitely respond and thank you for your support guys i'll see you again next month bye bye